Hi guys, my name is Kayla and I'm making this video today to answer questions about the PiCat and the PiCat verification test. Um, I know when I went to take it, there wasn't that much information on the internet or on YouTube about it and other people's experiences, so that's why I'm documenting this today. A little bit about myself is that I am a college junior. August, I'll be going into my senior year and my goal is to get my degree and then uh, go to OCS and hopefully after that I'll be a commission officer if everything goes as planned. So uh, I just wanted to answer some of you guys' questions here today um, because there were a few questions in the comments on my previous video about the verification test and I just I was answering the uh, questions in the comments and I was like I might as well make another video so other people can see it too. Okay so to give you guys just a little bit before I start, um, this is the book that I use to study. Um, it's called ASVAT for Dummies, um, second edition. And yeah, I got an 85 on my pie hat, so I would definitely recommend you guys reading this in and out. I might be selling this too, so if you guys want it, just let me know because I don't need it anymore. And so if you guys want it, I can sell it to you guys. So yeah. Okay. So the first question that I got, um, Okay, so the first question that I got was how many questions do I have to get right? Um, so the pie cat, I believe, is 30 questions and then you have 45 minutes to answer those 35, those 30 questions. Okay, let me say that again. How many questions do I have to get right? Um, I believe that there's 30, I took it a while ago, I think I took it in February, so it's not as fresh to me. But I believe that it's 30 questions and you have 45 minutes to answer those 30 questions. Um, and uh, well, from what I've heard and from my experience, 20 of them are the same exact thing as a pie cat. And, um, and then there's 10 questions that are similar to what you would have saw in the pie cat. But it's it's the same com concept and not the same question. So you they do that so you to make sure that you just didn't cheat, that you know what you're doing. So um if you study and you did fine, then you'll be okay um, on those 10 questions. But I believe that you can get, I believe that you can get 10 wrong on the PiCat verification test and you can still pass. But I think I got like five wrong because I know there's some that I just didn't know. Um, so I kind of guessed. Um, but yeah, a lot of similar, but there are some different questions with the same concept. Okay, so another girl said that, um, I'm also looking at my laptop here, if you guys are wondering. Another girl said, I'm scared to take the verification. That's my only fear because I test bad under pressure. Well, the th good thing about the verification test is that, like I said, a lot, most of the questions are the exact same thing that was on the PiCat. So you're kind of just confirming what you already did for the most part. And then there's about 10 questions that are different. Um... So that should alleviate your stress about it because most of it you've already done. So you sh there's no need to be worried. I was nervous too, but um, you'll notice that a lot of it's the same um, if your test was like mine. The next question is, how does the verification test work? How many questions for each section? Um, I'm not exactly sure how many questions for each section, um, but you'll see questions from each section maybe like two or three from each section um i struggle with math there there's definitely arithmetic and um math on there so i feel like there's probably like four of each uh for arithmetic and math i remember there was some word knowledge maybe like two or three and then there were a few um like for vocabulary what's it called um no, there was reading comprehension. There was a few word knowledge. I remember seeing like two or three of each of those. And they were they were the same exact questions that were on the PiCat for me. For those, there was different questions for the um, math or arithmetic. They weren't exactly the same. Some of them were the same, but a few of them were different. But for the word knowledge and reading comprehension, they were the same for me. And then there's a few of like the electronic stuff. I, I think that's too, I don't know. Um... <laughs> A few of them I remember on the pie cat, so I just put the same thing, but um, some of them were just thrown in there and I, I didn't know. So, yeah, um, that's all I really remember. So, yeah. Uh, someone said, was it hard? No, it was not hard. Um, like I said, you're just confirming what you did already. And um, if you remember what you did, what the answers that you 
that you picked the first time just pick the same ones which leads me to my next question what if you answered the questions right that you missed can they can i disqualify you um so all i know for like the disqualify part i know that they they wouldn't disqualify you but you might be rolled over um to take the full asvab if you don't you don't do well on the confirmation test you'll just have to take the whole asvab um again so um i everyone told me just answer the exact same that you did on the pie cat even if you know that you got it wrong just answer the way that you did before um so that you don't you know they you don't get rolled over into the full as that so yeah that's all the questions that i had um definitely if anything that i said didn't make sense or you still are confused about it definitely leave a comment down below and i'll answer it and if there's enough questions i'll just make another video so i hope you guys enjoyed um good luck on your pie cats and your confirmation tests and your asvabs whatever good luck and i hope everyone does well bye